engineer 775 wanting to show off a new pump this is a cool pump that is going to accompany my tractor for the next couple of days got the AMRYT 347 all fueled up and ready to pump some serious water the trunk pump is rated well this is a three inch pump and it's rated at roughly 320 gallons a minute and they make bigger pumps of course you have your suction line and you have your discharge line you have a priming port Looks like you have a winterizing drain port under here. It is a PTO driven pump. It's got a gearbox, pulleys, belts to a pump head. Um, I haven't, uh, I'm going to go ahead and prime it the first time. I might have to prime it every time. That's one thing I do have to work out on this thing. But I'm going to prime it because I'm used to priming these types of pumps. And uh, in order, to, it's a little guy and distance was pretty close to the back of the tractor so the tumbling bar that I did receive with it had to be cut it's not a big deal you do cut both halves and I cut about two and a half inches off of each and then a relief on the one so you can put the shaft together so that's kind of that's not out of the ordinary that's kind of a normal a normal thing so we've got some uh, just got some discharge lines made up I've got a snap coupler quick coupler I'm excited about this working with uh, Greenville rubber industrial rubber and they they have this giant crimp ring that they use now instead of the straps that baby's never coming off of there so I got my strainer three inch got my quick couplers cam locks whatever you want to call them by Dixon and I have a discharge line with the same setup so really looking forward to seeing how well she pumps we got going on here we are pumping some water woo but not with solar we're pumping it with Elijah Elijah's got a trunk pump PTO pump <laughs> and we're pulling water out of our reservoir just a little reserve water and we're dumping it in our main pond just wanted to pump some water here see how it does it pumps at 320 gallons a minute in a pond and we've got our connections here and we're gonna fill a 2500 gallon cistern probably in about seven minutes we've got a pressure relief here um, to help us with suction so we'll see how she goes let's fire her up <laughs>
There's some pond water for you. But again, we're making compost tea, folks. So don't pick on my color of water. But she is filling and filling quickly. We were discharging some out. This will be good to let this thing overflow a little. Yeah. Get the plastic floaties out. Let's see the one from the bulkhead fitting. All right, folks, this was empty six minutes ago. Jesus, just, and I turned the tractor down to uh, 400 RPMs on the PTO shaft. This is our visual overflow by sitting on the tractor down there. You can see the water gush out. At least that's our theory, but this is the maiden voyage for the trunk pump. And I kind of wanted to see, I believe I can idle it right down and run and still pump a lot of water to save fuel, but we also want to get the job done quick. So we're experimenting today, see what the best settings are. So far so good. The trunk pumps come in two, three, and four inch diameter. And I'll have all the specs on the website if you're interested. If you need to move a ton of water, this is a way to do it. If you're- Oh, that's not good. You call me back. Let me call you back, can I? Yeah, 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 no, no. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> well, we're flushing out the tank for sure. Oh boy. How's that pump pumping? <laughs> It's pumping pretty good. Oh boy, we're filling in our valve box. We're gonna shut off the pump. There, we just shut off the pump. Woo! <laughs> I did it. <laughs>